so hello everyone welcome to installing tensorflow on pink fpga so this tutorial actually prepared on november 6 2018 which is a little bit quite old like six month or eight month old and this steps works for our design so we just made this uh, release on public so you can also get this tutorial from our website logictronics as well as we, uh, we also have the blog or the project post it hack store so you can also get this uh, tutorial at hack store uh, so let's see about the process so basically we have show up this process for pink version of 1609.14 so actually this uh, tutorial is based on the hilal your github uh, like a link so we also have mentioned something about installing tensorflow on pink so this is mainly targeted for pink uh, j1 so if you have j2 then you have to explore with different method or with latest pink image so this project is utilized the old image while we also have provided the old image with this tutorial so you can also get old image and explore with the earlier version or old image of pink and after it works well then you can go for the latest one so there is something about installing the version so we have some details here so first of all you have to download the old image so we also have uh, included the link of old image uh, in the description or attachment so you can also get that and we also have details on the uh, like later session of this tutorial and after you download it you can just extract you can just copy into the pink and after that you can connect your pink with uh, internet you need to have internet so you can have to or you have to in connect your pink with a uh, router so after you connect pink with router you can just browse with this address on your browser so the login and password is silence is the normal lan setup and you also need to have usb cable connected actually you can have this step two step two with uh, uh, ethernet cable and wall mount power adapter while you can also power up your pink with usb cable so if you have connected with usb cable then you can just go for the serial terminal on your operating system you can have operating system of, of uh, windows or open to or linux whatever so if you have the uh, windows operating system then you can go for serial terminal like teratom or party then you can go for the com port we are showing with teratom and com port select the corresponding com port and you have to select the serial port power rate is 115200 and you can you will get this type of console actually this process can also be done with uh, pink uh, um, pink uh, jupiter interface that is also possible but the older version of uh, pink operating system is not good with uh, the jupiter terminal so we just follow the serial terminal so after you get uh, serial terminal then you, you you can do sudo apt-get update so the pink os will be updated means the the linux kernel will be updated not the complete one so after that you can just uh, go for sudo apt-get install python pip python dev so it will just install python 2.7 and actually we are going to install the python 2.7 and then you can also go for python 3 by using this and you can just select uh, or check the python installation by using this command so our is python 2.7 so after python 2.7 you can just go for python 3.4 actually we need to have 3.4 for this installation so we use duplicate command and this location where we download python 3.4 and we have the tar option for extracting and installing option and we have the configure make install python so after python installation completes then we go for this uh, link duplicate link so it will just download the whl file for our arm version 71 arm cortex um, processor inside our gene chip so this whl file is actually corresponding from the raspberry pi so it is it will work for our pink chair one so after you download this using the duplicate then you can just go for sudo pip3 install tensorflow this and this uh, whl file will download here so you can just now like uh, install with pip3 command then you will see installation completes after some time actually it will take a bit time how the installation takes around 20 minutes 
then you can just browse your pc with uh, this address actually we are connected with ping on network so you have to do this command and password as usual and you can just create the python refi on the jupyter notebook then you can just check for the output like this so you can just uh, write import tensor for htf and you can do so this type of stuffs and you can also see the TensorFlow version using the print command and this is all so guys uh, if you get any queries you can just write us at info at logicronics.com or you can just visit logicronics.com for more details and we also have link uh, the pink old operating system on the description you can just download that old operating system and extract it and plug in it or copy it into the uh, sd card with win32 disk image or any other tool then you can just power up and follow these steps so guys thanks for watching meet you in the next session and this is actually for pink chair one mainly and we will have similar steps for pink chair two soon and this tutorial is quite old we also have released this tutorial back in november and many people just followed it and we just try to make it on video so it will be much more easier to get on youtube so you can just get it thanks for watching we'll meet you in the next session